listening girl i'm praying for you stay strong stay patient stay faithful and trust in god good morning babes and welcome back to another vlog it is sunday morning um it's actually sunday december 17th and i'm about to head to church um we're running a little bit behind i'm waiting on eric okay usually it's other way around but today we are waiting on king eric but yeah we're about to head out and go to church i love that we're going to church together i definitely want to encourage y'all to go to church with your partner if you're religious go to church with your partner or if you can't go to church with your partner maybe watch church with your partner it just takes the relationship to a whole nother level when you introduce God into your relationship. Me and Eric are both Christians. We're both believers, but we would typically do our worship separately. So it just takes your relationship to a whole nother level. But here comes Eric. So baby, let's go to church. Hey babes, good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, I am actually on my way to go help Tia shoot her content which i'm super excited to help her with i love helping my friends shoot content like it's just something about being able to show up for your friends help them do what they need to do and you don't gotta get cute you don't gotta pull yourself together so i'm gonna go help my girl i'm super excited because these photos are gonna turn out so cute she's taking pictures with koopy i'm sure by the time this vlog comes out her pictures will be up so i'll pop them up on screen because baby <laughs> i already know i'm about to eat the pictures up okay i already know what it's gonna get i wanted to talk to y'all while i'm on the way there about church the other day i wanted to pop up my church notes on screen um because i really feel like that message was for me and i feel like there's other people out there that this message obviously is for as well and i truly believe that if i can help someone or touch someone or spread god's word or god's message to whomever it needs to reach i'm going to do that it pretty much was just talking about being patient right and what whatever God has told you is for you and whatever God has in store for you and whatever promises God has made to you will come right when you need them and they will be perfect. They will be everything you need and more. And so I think for me, even when it comes to this content creator journey, I have moments where I doubt myself. And one of the examples that he gave was really powerful. It was about a guy who was a minor and basically he was told that there was gold right and he kept mining he mined and mined and mined for all these years and then finally he just decided to give up and he literally gave up when he was three feet away from the gold so literally the next person that came after him was able to reach the gold but the point is if he would have just held on for a little bit longer he would have reached that gold so i just want to encourage y'all anybody who's thinking about giving up and it doesn't even have to be in regards to being a content creator like just giving up on something you want whether that be wanting a raise at your job wanting a new position at your job wanting to start your own hair business um wanting to start your own clothing business whatever the case may be do not give up y'all do not give up you never know how close you are to obtaining your breakthrough because i was definitely feeling very like I'm kind of over this like god like i know you said this was for me but when is it gonna be for me you know what i mean and i just had to check myself after the service and say you know what shaylin you need to be patient and i also wanted to remind myself of i already have so much to be grateful for there was a time in my content creation creation journey where i wasn't making a cent i wasn't making a dime now i do make money from this which is a blessing in itself there was a time where i was begging for a thousand subscribers begging for two more people to subscribe so i could reach a thousand subscribers and now i'm at over sixteen thousand subscribers and i feel like we live in this world where we're constantly like go 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 on to the next on to the next on to the next and we forget how far we've already come so i just want to remind yourself look at how far you've already came you know what i mean like even in a a, a regular nine to five right maybe the first job you ever got you were making 12 dollars an hour working retail now you sit at a desk and you make over sixty thousand a year but you want to make eighty thousand but you forgot girl you was barely making forty thousand you know what i mean so just remember that because we definitely live in a world where it's like go 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 and i think we forget what god has already blessed us with like we receive so many blessings daily that we don't even realize it we overlook it because we're just so focused on something more um so yeah i just wanted to give y'all that little tidbit um i've definitely been really trying to strengthen my relationship with god i've always been christian religious but i do feel as though um 
I wasn't giving God the time. I wasn't giving him the praise. I wasn't giving him, you know, I would pray every now and then, but it would only be in my time of need. And I'm just in this period of where I want to trust God. I want to lean on God. I want to turn to God for any and everything. And I'm just really focusing on that. I'm making it a priority. I think that's what I'm trying to get across. I'm definitely making it a priority now instead of like a, this is something I only do on Sunday type of thing. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. If y'all are interested and in the DMV, just DM me and I will provide the church that I go to. I will also provide like the live church link as well if you guys are interested in maybe like attending a service or watching it online or something like that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and talk about that because I feel like it just planted a seed in my ear, like in my heart that I needed to hear. And of course, when I go to church, like it's always a great message, but some messages you just know God is speaking to you. And I feel like God has put it on my heart to put this out here to you all even if it's just for one person in particular I just hope it reaches you and girl I'm praying for you stay strong stay patient stay faithful and trust in God and yeah I will see you guys once we start shooting content Cooper don't be acting like you don't know me you know he wanted, he wanted Cooper around you. Hi, sweet boy. And so you know he got you need a greeting look at your sweater handsome Oh, thank you for the kisses. You're not getting me in my mouth today. Hey, y'all. It is much later, and I am back in the house. I am dressed. I just have on, like, a sweatsuit, and we're going to go to, I think it's called Enchant DC. How much y'all think they like Billis? Because this is insane, okay? They fall on line. The passion home in no time. All right, y'all. We're in here, so it's very loud and noisy but it's so cute and y'all they have like little fake snow over there i don't know if y'all can see but it's fake snow over there but we're about to get something to drink all oh, the baileys the spiked baileys busting okay you get two of these and you'd be done how much was this drink 17.99 is outrageous and it's in this little baby cup y'all you see how tiny that cup is she screaming on me on my flesh her photos don't need a retouch She asked why I haven't done nothing I didn't know we're in a rush Enjoying the moment so hush My album is paying her bills I don't even need a deluxe The stomach is flat as fuck She's slipping that shit in the dust somehow The fat muscle went in the butt somehow I don't even answer what's up She's saying that shit is natural I don't care if she making it up Saturday. I'm starting this vlog off late. It is currently 7 30. Y'all saw a little montage in the beginning of me getting ready, putting my makeup on, and then filming some content. Um, I do have a couple PR packages that I want to open with y'all real quick. And then I want to show y'all what I got from the skim sale because I never showed y'all what I got from the skim sale. Before we get into that though, y'all, if you are my skin color or lighter, I would say maybe a little bit darker. Let me not even do that because I I need to speak for myself because baby, they was trying to cancel me on TikTok and we'll talk about that a little later. But this is one of my all time favorites. It is the Color Science. I have been using this instead of foundation, y'all. So I just love this. I love that it's like SPF. It's a skincare product. This first PR package is from Garnier. They sent me over this whole blend hair honey repairing serum. I'm trying to see how to use it, y'all, because maybe my hair do need some repairing, okay? Ooh, she smells good. This uh, next PR package I'm super excited to get into because I think this is from Prada. Getting a PR package from Prada is just crazy. Yo! Ah! Okay, OMG, let's see. It feels like Christmas, y'all. It's in like a little gift bag. How freaking cute is that? Why would they gift me all of this? Not why, I'm happy. This is recharge and refill. So this is, I think, a perfume refill. And then we have the Prada Paradox, which smells amazing. I've smelled this before. Oh, we have the Intense, y'all. This is the Intense version. OMG, I'm so freaking shocked. Like literally, I'm so shocked. I love the Intense. I smelled this on Erin and I absolutely loved it on her. And I was actually gonna buy this for myself, y'all, which is funny. So I'm happy I didn't buy it. 
because Prada sent it to me. That is so crazy that Prada sent me PR. Like, um, I know some of y'all are gonna ask, so I'm gonna just answer this question now about how I get PR. A lot of brands reach out to me for PR and it comes from me tagging brands in my content. Also being on certain platforms like Aspire IQ is a great platform that brands are able to reach out to you to gift you PR. This journey gets crazier by the second and I'm super excited for 2024 because I'm motivated. I've been having my foot on the gas so slightly, but now it's time to put that hoe in sport, okay? Like literally, I'm ready to turn up because I just got things that I need to do and accomplish and I can't do that unless I take things seriously. Who is blasting music? Y'all, I was talking about this SPF and y'all tell me, like I kind of want to talk about this because it bothered me a lot and not a lot of things on social media bother me it bothered me on tiktok that i posted a tiktok i'm gonna insert the clip of the tiktok i've been seeing this color science tinted spf and tinted eye cream all over my for you page but baby i ain't seen nobody like me doing a review so i figured i would order it test it out and let y'all know what i think because baby i have been in my natural girl era embracing the natural skin that god has given me era so less is more to me right now so let's go ahead and put these to the test because baby i got somewhere to be so i'm hoping i don't look crazy in her she is look at my christmas nails y'all it comes out white i was always taught you do two lines it says to rub it on your face oh uh oh it's already changing get close so y'all can see <gasps> bruh it's still a little light skin she's still a little light skin let's <laughs> hope she changes to my skin color because baby i ain't trying to look like casper the friendly ghost see if it covers up this little bit of redness i have right there from a pimple oh it did cover that hold on color science I might be on this one with this one. Like, what is better than SPF that also covers your imperfections? Let me say this here and now. If you are a black woman and you think that you don't have to wear SPF because you have melanin, you are mistaken. Let's go ahead in with the Total Eye Cream, which is also tinted. I was a little nervous about what shade to pick up because usually I like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter, but I figured, girl, go with your skin tone. Fancy. It took me like 50 pumps for it to come out, but there it is. Do you think this was the perfect color choice? It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, if you guys can see, but it's not too light. And I love that you're getting the benefits of an eye cream along with a little bit of coverage. Now, this is obviously not something I would wear on a night out. This is more of like everyday makeup, like you want to look put together. And I love that you're getting skincare benefits and you're getting like just the tiniest bit of coverage. Blend, 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 blend. I see a difference, y'all. Like, I feel like if I pop this on with like a little bit of blush, it would just look like a no makeup makeup look. I actually really like it. But let me know what y'all think down below. So y'all just saw the clip of the TikTok and basically this girl was in my comments. You're not gonna be able to find her because I literally blocked her because it got to the point where she was just writing me paragraphs and paragraphs. But basically I wrote on that video, I said, is it black girl approved? I posed a question, did not say I thought it was black girl approved, did not say it is black girl approved. I feel like for me personally, nothing one black girl can say can make something approved, right? We, black women come in all different shapes, sizes, colors. Like it's impossible for one black girl to approve something for the whole category of women. And basically this, person in my comment section was saying that I didn't have the right to write black girl approved on anything. And her argument was that because of my complexion that I just didn't have the right to even comment that. I feel like in her commentary, one, she was trying to be sm smart. Like the way she was coming at me was like trying to be cute. Like, haha, ha, LOL. Like I hate a bitch that says LOL when she knows she's being dead ass. Like she literally started off the comment with no shade. Baby, if you say no shade, it's clearly shade. Like, if I say no shade, I'm throwing shade. But a real bitch like me not gonna say no shade. I'ma just say shade, but... Or I'ma just say what I gotta say. My issue is, what about the women who look like me? They're looking for other women who look like me to tell them if a product works or not, right? As black women, we come in so many different shades. So me, obviously, I'm not looking to a super fair-skinned black woman for advice on if something works just like i'm not looking to a dark skinned woman on something if it works like you're going to look for someone who is in your skin category when it comes to makeup when it comes to blush when it comes to foundation when it comes to anything skin related 
you are typically going to go to someone who is your complexion because why they are close to you so if it works for them it's going to work for you so i just felt some type of way about that comment i just felt some type of way and she was writing paragraphs y'all i mean i was getting notification after notification after notification like she was going in on me and i think the part that pissed me off the most was this like girl you're trying to find something that's not even there like you're forcing <clears throat> your own perception and your own mindset onto me and that's not the case like I went back and watched my video and I was trying to figure out how she could come up with the conclusion that I'm trying to be the spokeswoman for all black women and I'm also trying to figure out how she came to the conclusion that I said it was black girl approved and then there were some women in the comment section that kept it so respectful like literally was like oh, this looks great on you, but it doesn't work for deeper skin women. Oh, I saw a deeper skin woman try this. It didn't work for her. Those commentary are fine, but trying to make it seem like I don't have the right to even use the term black girl because I'm not dark skin is crazy to me because I'm still a black girl. My mom's black, my dad's black. I'm a black girl. So therefore I can say black girl on screen because I'm a black girl. I didn't say dark skin black girl because I'm not a dark skinned black girl. But I was just like so confused and I just didn't like how she was spinning it. And usually for me, I'm gonna be honest y'all, comments don't really get to me. Like most so I like laugh or something like that or I just delete or just don't respond. And I really wanna know like from watching the clip, if y'all get that same impression that she got, I'm assuming the answer for most people is no because she was the only one going on that rampage. But you know, it's the internet and that's what, baby, that's what comes with the internet. I hate to say it, but baby if it's one thing the girls are gonna do it's tussle with you on the internet i never showed y'all what i got from the skim sales so let me go grab that and show it to you babe so the first thing i got from the skims sale i actually wore it already and washed it but it is this fits everybody um zip up bodysuit like you can zip it into a high neck I absolutely love the fits everybody material because it's like super stretchy and of course it has the snap closure a thong in the back it's just super cute and super flattering i really don't want to try this stuff on so i'm not going to y'all <laughs> i'm sorry okay and the next thing i got from the skim sale is this mock neck it's just really really nice high quality and this is from the Soft Smoothing Seamless Collection. And I absolutely love this collection. This is one of my favorite collections to get basics of when it comes to skims. And then I got this top, which is from the Fits Everybody Collection. And I got it in this bright color. I thought it was more red online, but in person, it's kind of like a orangey red. I don't know how it's showing up on camera. On camera, it actually looks way more red than what it is. It's just not what I thought it would be but it's a cute little top. It was on sale. I actually have picked up two more items y'all and Skims canceled part of my order and it pissed me off so freaking bad. Like I was salty AF, okay? It sounds like somebody is having a party. Good morning, babes. Happy Sunday, okay? It is New Year's Eve and we are on our way to church. Um, I was gonna go to the watch service, but I just feel like it's gonna be super crowded because it normally is and I just feel like the numbers are spiking right now and I just don't feel comfortable being around a ton of people. So I'm gonna go this morning, get my praise and give God the time, the glory that he deserves, baby. And then I am going to uh, bring it on home and spend my New Year's at home. After church, me and Eric are gonna go to Tyson's. He has something he needs to return. And then I wanna get this coat from Aritzia. If you guys watched my Philly day trip vlog, um, then you guys saw that I tried on this Aritzia coat and I just knew it was gonna go on sale so I didn't buy it. Obviously at that time I was focused more on buying things for other people um, and girl it went on sale, okay? And I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get that coat because it's just a stunning coat. I also kind of want to pop in Abercrombie as well. I want to try on their, oop, I want to try on their um, Sloan I think that's what they're called the sloan trousers um and see what those are giving like if they're giving or not uh because online they're sold out and i'm just like dang i want to try them because i really need a simple classic pair of black trousers for work but yeah i just wanted to start off the vlog and say good morning to y'all happy sunday baby we're about to be in 2024 which is crazy if you're watching this clearly you made it to 2024 and i just want to let you know baby you are blessed because there are a lot of people who did not make it to 2024 and 
that is just a blessing in itself 2024 is gonna be amazing for the babes i already know i can feel it god has been saying it to me um and this year we're just turning up like we're turning up it's going to be lit okay it is going to be a lit year for me um I just have so many things that I want to do this year, accomplish this year, and I just know it's going to come into fruition as long as I stay focused and make sure I am constantly talking to God and listening to God and just like furthering my relationship with him, everything will just fall into place, y'all. I am going to go ahead and focus on getting to church and then I will talk to you babes after church. These days... I'm letting God handle all things above me The things I can't change are the reason you love me Listen, you can hear them calling my name I'm all over the place, I can't sit in one place I'm not ashamed at all Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate, I'm just saying Feel like we one and the same, our relationship changed That or it never existed Whenever they say something about us, you listen 